quick on what is a nymph goldfish. This is another question I get asked a lot, or what do nymphs look like, or does anybody have a nymph? I have two nymphs. This is my blue Aranda nymph. To some people, a nymph is a cull because basically the fish is, has reverted to um, its history pedigree kind of, I guess, and gone back to a single tail. So he should have been a split tail Aranda like my other guys from this summer, but his tail came out a single tail and it was a nice single tail and he was growing like crazy and I was like, uh, that'd be cool to see what a full-grown single tail comet looks like plus you know he was holding on to the blue color and I have another single tail that's a telescope that one's staying more the same size of its siblings whereas he has more of a faster growth pace than his siblings but basically that's what a nymph is it's it's a type of breed of goldfish with a single tail so you can have a nymph comet like this you can have a nymph celestial eye bubble eye any kind can have a nymph and sometimes people find them in the feeder um, goldfish sadly because you know like I said a lot a lot of people just consider them culls whereas in I think he's cool so this is my nymph blue Aranda and I'm rather Rather excited to see how he grows out long term. My long term goal, um, I'm doing some remodeling this year on the inside fish room and then I hope to put a full grown deep outdoor greenhouse pond next year and then I can start taking in more single tail rescues and the ones that I do have will then go into the outdoor pond. Up here in Wisconsin, you need your ponds at least like four feet deep, and you also need something heating to keep the ice from freezing over. You don't want to let your ponds freeze over. My little late, old lady neighbor, Arlene next door, um, last year her her pond heater that keeps the de-icer broken, she didn't realize it, and she lost... Um, her big koi and I mean comets that she's had in there for 15 20 years because they iced over and then the methane gases can't escape so I don't have a name for this guy I'm kind of superstitious about naming my goldfish but I think he's pretty cool